What is this structure between two buildings? Relatively new buildings connected by these rebar frames. It doesn't look like anything moves between them. It looks to me like they are there to support the balconies on both buildings. Those balconies look like they were added sometime after the original building was completed. What is this kitchen item? About the right size to hold an orange with 5 pointy spikes. It holds fruits and veggies to be sliced on a mandolin food slicer. It has rich teeth, looks almost like a bottle opener on the one end, but is definitely not effective as one. It says kip on it. I found in kitchen during remodel, not sure if was there previously, or left by the crew. It's metal and similar to a fireplace key. I google KIPP, but all I can find on their website is handles, none of which are like this one. This is called an actuator rack. I'm not sure how many years they were used, but I have one in my 95 Chevy. I think Ford had something similar. This part fits behind the lock cylinder. When you insert your key into the ignition and turn the lock cylinder, the other end of that cylinder engages with the tooth section of the actuator rack moving it forward. The curved section makes contact with an actuator rod that pushes on a switch lower in the steering column. What are these weird cylindrical things? This on the top floor, deep inside one of many buildings of what used to be a naval engine research facility. These are carbon filter housings. High efficiency particulate absorbing or HEPA, and large buildings like that are still squarish or rectangular. The perforated cylinders are common for carbon. Also, military buildings like that typically have carbon filters in addition to their HEPAs, because they filter out toxic gases. What is this coffin-sized concrete container with lid? It has rebar sticking out the sides of the lid. It's part of a jetty of some sort. Those bolts look like they could have secured a wooden beam to the side to form a protective edge. This tool isn't a shed that we are cleaning out. Belongs to a trail maintenance conservation core. It has a wooden handle and metal end with a blade. We are cleaning a shot for a conservation core that mainly does trail maintenance and building. So I assume that's it's a specific tool for that sort of thing. No guesses from anyone who currently works there as to what it is. It's a Swedish clearing axe. Judging the design it would allow you to bring spare blades into the field, where sharpening is time-consuming and dangerous, especially where roots are close to rocks. What are these plastic blue things I found all over my attic? That is a bio ball. Bio balls are used to hold the beneficial bacteria from your tank, and not for removing waste products from the system. What is this strong white ivory pen sized flat object? Slightly curved, we are Scottish, so I thought a kilt thing. But husband disagrees. I am a knitter, so he thought a knitting thing. But I disagree. Feels strong like fake ivory. This has been in our house 10 years and moved with us 6 times. We have no idea what it does. This is a bone folder, used by bookbinders to assist in putting sharp folds in paper. Of course, there's a technique for using it, but basically you run the sharp edge across the fold to create a sharp, straight crease in the paper. Can anyone tell me what these barrels are on top of these buildings? They seem to be on top of every building in the area. This is in Turkey by the way. They don't seem to be rain barrels, I don't think that is what these are. If anyone has any info I'd love to know. These are solar water heaters. We had a similar setup in my house growing up. Really nice until you run out of hot water in the middle of your shower at night. What is this ratchet-like devices with long handles? One is blue one is yellow. I think they are for the same purpose but have a different design. They are hand strapping machine or strapping tensioner for strapping boxes, cartons, bales, etc. We use them all the time. It can also be used for metal or plastic strapping. I've seen this thing in the playground since I was a kid. 18 years after first seeing it, 
I still have no idea what it is. There's nothing inside other than sand from the park and two small holes that drain it onto the pavement instead of the park. What on earth is this? It's a sand table or a raised sandbox for playing with sand without having to be on the ground. Kids in wheelchairs for example, or even just toddlers who have learned to stand up and are proud of it. The holes allow water to drain out. I found this thing in the toolbox, possibly left over from something that got installed in the bathroom. Metal cylinder with a rubber handle. Handle can be pulled to bring the smaller cylinder into the larger cylinder. Also rotates and has threads facing the rubber handle side. What is it? It's a tub and shower diverter, assembly for Delta. I did a Google search and found it. For use in single handle faucets. It's a gold-plated antique. The entire object is solid with no moving parts. Picked up from my Nana's place and no one can identify. Possible perfume holder but no clue. It is approximately 2.5 inches wide, 4 inches long, and 3 inches tall. Gold color plating. Weighs approximately 1 kilogram. No writing. Was in possession of my late grandmother with many other antique objects. I would assume this is 70 years old. Thanks for the help. It's a nail polish bottle holder with finger rest. The curved piece on top of the figure's head is a rest for your finger, ostensibly to apply the said nail polish. While walking in a residential neighborhood, I found this metal circle in the concrete sidewalk. It's possibly in between two properties as a marker, but no others are found in the neighborhood. Why would there only be this one? I'm not sure what the letters are or what they mean. I thought one was an A, but it looks more like a triangle. It's a temporary surveyor's nail, driven into a pavement or sidewalk expansion joint. These temporary markers don't have any official, permanent status as a boundary marker, but survey companies often create a network of these less formal markers in the areas in which they work, because these unofficial markers make their jobs easier. What is this metal bowl with wood handle and ring for hanging? What is this supposed to be used for? I googled the number handwritten on it and got nothing useful. I'm guessing maybe something for melting metal like lead rather than cooking. It's a tatka pan. It is a tiny pan with a relatively deep well to prevent whole spices from jumping out of the pan as they're being cooked. It looks similar to a ladle. While the contents of tatka vary from region to region, the base is more or less the same. What is this orange glass circular object with a central well and holes around the edge? I found it while clearing out old boxes from my grandparents. The central well is about 2 centimeters deep, the entire thing is about the size of a grown man's hand. Looks to be an old flower frog for flower arrangements. A bit unusual shape, but fairly certain this is it. The bowls wouldn't hold stems in place like the small holes do. Thanks for watching. Let's make life fun.